find the oldest house of ill repute in your city. Not an easy or particularly delightful task, but only the oldest one standing will work. Once you are there, tell the first person you find that you have an appointment with the Holder of Devotion. If done correctly, the prompted person will stare blankly at you as if in a trance, and then turn around and walk into the whorehouse without saying a word. You must follow that person down a long hall engulfed in darkness. As you walk in, you'll hear murmuring, seductive voices whispering in your ear of untold pleasures, and as you go deeper, caressing hands will try to take you into the rooms at either side of the hall. Unless you wish to abandon your quest, do not let yourself be enticed into any of those rooms, for the voices you hear and the hands you feel are indeed female, but not human, and the pleasures they promise are not given free of charge, but for a price no man is prepared to pay. Finally, you'll find yourself at the end of the hall before a thick curtain. The person who led you there, nowhere to be found. If you are ready, walk past the curtain into a spacious room, the walls covered with drapery and the floor littered with cushions. As your eyes grow accustomed to the candlelit twilight and your senses numb with the thick incense in the room, you'll be able to distinguish the shape of a woman laying lazily on cushions in the far end of the room, her face totally covered by a veil. She'll signal you to get closer with a seductive movement of her finger, and you must approach her with no doubts in your mind. As you stand in front of her, you'll feel her checking you around intently from behind the veil. Hope that she deems you worthy, for if she doesn't, She'll lift the veil from her face, and your mind will be destroyed at the sight. If she deems you worthy, though, she'll signal for you to lie at her side. Do so, and in seconds she will be all over you. You'll feel as if thousands of hands were caressing desperately at your body, bringing you unworldly and bizarre delight. But right before you lose your mind, you need to ask her, Do they need us as we need them? If done correctly, as you mate with her, your mind will be presented with unspeakable visions from long-lost times of corrupt worship and forbidden cults, while an unholy pleasure quakes through your body. If you manage to keep your sanity until the end, a powerful orgasm will shake you out of the trance and grant you clarity of mind. You must seize this moment to run away from the room and from the building as fast as you can, not even stopping to grab your clothing. You have precious few seconds before you black out, and you must make sure you're far, far away when you do. Next morning, you'll wake up in your bed, wondering if everything was just a bad dream. Some day you'll find out that you were rendered sterile, though. And some day, exactly nine months after your adventure, you'll be woken up in the middle of the night by loud pounding on your door. When you open the door, you'll find a small cradle with a newborn girl bathed in blood. Raise your daughter lovingly, for she's Object 164 of 538. She'll never speak a word or make a noise, but her big, adoring eyes will always be set on you, following your every movement. As long as she's at your side, you'll never feel alone or depressed, and you'll never long for another kind of love or companionship. However, for the sake of the world and your own wretched life, under no account should you let her live to see her fourteenth birthday. 
Good luck at killing with your own hands the embodiment of your love.